Hey guys, this is Brad from Dallas Geek, and I'm here today with CJ Peterson. And we're here to talk about uh, your current books. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you were telling me a minute ago that your books are very much in the realm of fantasy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, would you describe them as fantasy or a bit more? Well, they're actually they're Christian fiction. Christian fiction, but okay. there's um, an element to them that's kind of paranormal. I guess is what people would call it. Okay. Um, in my books, the spiritual realm crosses into the physical. So where you've got light, you've got dark. <clears throat> where you've got angels, you have demons. Sure. And in this case, the underlying group with the three series that I currently have out, the characters actually cross over storylines. So you get another part of the character's story and another part of a different series. Okay. Um, but in this one, the underlying group is Angel, which is available to nurture God's eternal love. Okay. And they get their assignments from the Archangel, who obviously gets them from God, and sends them out into the world. Um, it's not just them and the angels, though. There is that other side. Sure. So we call it the other side, or which has um, demons. On different levels, and then there's also um, what I call unnaturals, okay. which are basic people that are possessed. Okay. Um, and they're not ugly looking either, because the other side tries to tempt you. Sure. And so that's kind of where they are. But the first two series, is the trilogy mm -hmm. and the Grace Restored series, are actually happening at the same time. Okay. And then I combine them together in the Divine Legacy series. Okay. So the angels are taken over by the two main character, female characters that are in the first two series as kids. Okay. So all sorts of chaos ensues. Oh. But there's firefighting, there's military, there's police, there's FBI, there's all sorts of fun stuff with them. Nice. So out of curiosity, um, how many books are in the series overall so okay. far? Okay, well there's a trilogy. Okay. There's obviously three. The Grace Restored series has five. The Divine Legacy currently has two. There's another one coming out about the end of August, beginning of September. Okay. And then the fourth one I'm targeting for February, March 2019, that will finish that up. And then I'm going to do a standalone. Oh, wow. And then another series. So you, you have quite a few in, uh, in, in the works. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> I keep I keep wanting to go to the standalone. My husband's like, no, you got to finish this one first. I'm like, okay. Nice, 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 nice. So it's very interesting that you uh, you keep the characters kind of uh, cross populating between the different series. Um, was that an intentional uh, thought on your part to try to further build their characters, or was that just a, uh, a happy coincidence when you were trying to build the world that it just happened that it worked best when these characters kept popping up? Well, I'm. I do author interviews on my own on my website, yeah. and one of the questions I always ask, are you a planner or are you a pantser? Well, I'm a pantser. <laughs> I literally sit down, pray, start typing. The only thing I keep is a running list of the characters. So the trilogy was written first, okay. and that's where the main angels are. So not a lot of people crossed over the other way they cross into. And when I was going to write, I got the idea when I started the Grace of Sword series, I have a standalone that I don't normally talk about because it needs to be rewritten. Okay. But sure. I pulled her character into the Grace of Sword series okay. to finish off Stacey Spencer's story. Okay. And I thought, well, you know, I could bring the other ones in too. So toward the end of the Grace of Sword series, the angels pop back up. Okay. And they have a hand in book, Summer Secrets, Okay. is where they pop back up in and then into Forever Fall. And then I thought, well, you know, I could just bring them all together. Yeah. And so in doing that, I was also able to give some of the backstory of the angels themselves and where they came from. Okay. So is, yeah, as you pointed out, uh, the series and the way that it evolves is kind of just an ongoing process rather than something you already have figured out, like exactly where the end's going to be and all that. I don't um, ever know how the book's going to end when it started. It's all a surprise to me. Is... The subject matter uh, that you're dealing with, with uh, the angels and demons and the different uh, aspects on both sides, uh, is that something that, at least for right now, you feel is going to be continuing to be the main focus of the series, or do you plan to, or would you like to bring in other elements of? Uh, say fantasy or other elements of uh, like lore or mythology into the concept. Funny you mention that um, because in Divine Legacy, um, I think an army rise in the second book, Calliope comes into play. Really? Nice. So yeah, she's already in there. 
and she's Good. the, you know, of her poetry, and yeah. so she tempts, she's like the tempters. Yeah. And so, yeah, she's of course with the other side, but yeah, she comes into play and makes a lot, a lot of havoc. Very nice. So, now after that, when I go off the series, the angels may pop into the other books. Yeah. Um, but once that series is done, then it's done. Okay. And that'll be a 12 book by the time it's done. Wow. So. so Okay, if you're already up to 12 books, how long is it taking to be able to uh, get the series to where it is right now? Well, I had a um, medical issue in 2016, I actually went septic. Sure. And so that whole year I was off, it took me about about a year to start writing again. Okay. Um, but generally speaking, a book, probably about nine months start to finish. Oh, wow. So I kind of keep them, when they go to the editor, I start in the next book. Yeah. And when I get that one back, then while that one's processing and getting ready to be published is when I head and I finish off the next book and then I send it to the editor. It's like a pipeline. Nice. Very, very nice. nice. I had a chance to be able to talk to uh, several uh, science fiction uh, authors, several fantasy authors, um, and there's always some element of the genre that has really pulled them into wanting to focus on that specific kind of storytelling or those specific kinds of characters. Uh, what was the appeal to you for these uh, type of characters that you're uh, working with, with the angels and the demons and uh, everything in between? Okay, well, I'm a Christian. Okay. And in doing that, a lot of people all, you know, a lot of Christians like the whole angel side of it. Yeah. And they don't try to, they try to discount the other side. Sure. And it's like spiritual warfare is, is real, it's true. Sure. And so the way I do it, my mom's terrified of some of the demons that are in the books. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, it puts it like, one of the people said that it's a spiritual rea reality check. Okay. That's one of the reviews that was up. And it just basically that part of the spiritual warfare, the point that they can't ignore it. Okay. It kind of puts it more into a real perspective. If you go to a lot of the third world countries, they're fully aware of it. Sure. But sometimes here in America, we kind of try to, you know, shy away from it because we don't want to touch that portion of it. But that's a real, that's a real thing. Sure. And so, you know, and it's not going to be something ugly. Generally, it's something that's that's not tempting if it's ugly. Yeah. So, like the one character, I'm not going to say who it is, <laughs> in the trilogy, is a very hot guy. Yeah. Turns out he's an unnatural. Okay. So something else that's come up a lot for. Uh, these uh, types of genres um, has been the increasing popularity of the audio versions of the books. Have you uh, ventured into audio books uh, for your works yet? Not yet, okay. but that's what a lot of the conference this weekend, those are the main ones that I'm hitting. Cool. Uh, because I would like to, a lot of people like to, we live, I live in East Texas. Sure. So when you go anywhere, you're yep. going between a half an hour and 45 minutes to get even yep. to the grocery store. Yep. And so a lot of people are like, do you have the audiobooks? So that's one of the main things I'm hitting is a lot of the sessions have to do with audiobooks because that's something I do want to look into doing. Very cool. Very, very cool. So for those of our uh, viewers out here that would be very interested in checking out your books, where can they find them? Okay, I make it really easy. Okay. I try to make things as painless as possible. My website is cjpetersonwrites.com cool. and on each one, if you go to the home page mm -hmm. and you click on the book, each series has its own page. It'll take you there. There's the summary, links, and a few reviews. Cool. Um, one thing I do want to point out about my books yes. is the trilogy and the Divine Legacy series. A portion of the proceeds goes to help airborne angel cadets of Texas. Okay. We ship packages overseas to our military. Oh, nice. And a portion of the proceeds from the Grace Restored series goes to Hope Store, which is a domestic violence shelter in Plano, Texas. Oh, wow. So okay. you get a book and you get to help a charity at the same time. Very nice. And that's something I want to keep going forward. Like, I've already got a charity in mind for the standalone. Wow. And so. I like to try to get back. That's that's really cool. Yeah. So, you hear that? If you are interested in checking out some really cool books and you want to do some uh, good charity, links are going to be down in the description below for you to be able to find her books and absolutely be sure to go check them out. And I love to hear from my readers. Oh yeah. Are, are you on social media, by the way? Oh yeah, I'm all over it. Well, there we go. Under the about page yeah. on my website, it has the whole list of them. Well, there we go. Be sure to go check her out and uh, go check out the books. So until next time, this is Brad from Dallas Geek saying, see ya.